What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and I want to give you an overview of web browsing on the iPad. It's really one of the big selling points that Apple is touting is this being the best mobile web experience that you can have. So I want to show you what it looks like, what you can do, what you can't do and give you a general overview of what you can expect if you pick up one of these devices. So we'll go ahead and launch up Safari. And this is just a Wi-Fi version, and all of this is being shown um, just over a Wi-Fi connection. So you get a few options here. You get your usual search bar, which is Google, like you have on the iPhone or iPod Touch. You get your URL bar right there. Add a bookmark. It'll take you right to your bookmark if you have any, which we don't have right now. It'll open up different pages if you have them open here, and I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. We'll go ahead and go back to new page. So let's go ahead and launch one right here. Go ahead and tap the URL. And we'll go to technobuffalo.com and I'll do further videos showing you how the keyboard works in all different applications. Uh, so be sure to stay tuned to the channel and Techno Buffalo. So go ahead and type it in. It's actually the only website I've loaded up on here. Just got this home a few minutes ago. And you can see the speed. I'm also going to be doing a head-to-head -head video uh, against the iPhone so you can see what the differences are. So it's loading up. And this is actually a good site to test because there's embedded video on here. So you get a very, very, very large experience um, with the uh, iPad. It's 9.7 inch screen, really shows off the web uh, quite nicely. So as you browse, you really have a lot of options for what you can see and what you can do. Just based on sheer pixels, you can see just a ton. So scrolling, very smooth as can be expected by the A4 chip, uh, which is clocked in at one gigahertz. Very smooth, buttery smooth even. Uh, zoom in, it just says you'd expect. Pinch and zoom, oops, I clicked the video. Pinch and zoom goes very smoothly uh, and very quickly. So let's say you want to click on a link. You get a few more options here than you've had on previous Apple devices. Let's say I want to click on five of the best iPad alternatives. If I tap it, it'll just take me right to the link. But if I hold it down, I get these new pop-ups. These pop-ups sort of show up throughout the entire operating system. So I can open it, open it in a new page, or copy. We'll go ahead and leave that right there. You can see what that looks like. So I watch a lot of YouTube videos. If you guys are watching this, odds are you watch a lot of YouTube videos as well. How is that going to look on an iPad? Well, let me show you what the player looks like. So here is an unboxing I did of the Samsung Strive. Go ahead and hit play. And it actually plays right inside the window, almost as if it had flash, which uh, of course it does not. You can go ahead and hit play, and it will play right inside the window. And if you want to make it full screen, tap that button, of course. You can always rotate it, and now you get a full screen video experience. I'll go ahead and pause this, and this does play HD. This is a 720p video, and it's playing it pretty nicely. Um, I'll do another video series showing you how video playback is, but I just want to show you how it integrates. Uh, with the web. We'll go ahead and hit done. And of course you can browse in uh, landscape as well. We'll go ahead and rotate this back. And you go ahead and keep scrolling through. So let's talk about bookmarks. You get a lot of options here uh, in bookmarks. So if I want to say add Techno Buffalo, I go ahead and hit the plus button. And again that new pop-up shows up and I can add it as regular bookmark or add it to home screen or I can mail a link to this page. Let's go ahead and add it to bookmark. And now you can choose where you want to uh, add it to, either in the bookmarks bar, which I'll show you in a minute, or just regular bookmarks. So we'll go and add it to the bookmarks bar, and I'll name it just Techno Buffalo. We'll just call it Techno for right now. Go ahead and hit save. So you don't see it pop up, and you don't see a bookmarks bar, but if you tap the URL, it shows up right there, and you get a whole list of them that'll show all the way up. And go ahead and tap it, and you can jump right to it. Let's go ahead and uh, load another page. You can see uh, what things look like. We'll go to uh, YouTube.com. So I want to show you what different pages look like here. So we'll go ahead and open a new page. New page. And we'll go to YouTube. There we go. See, things load pretty quickly. I actually Googled YouTube. Not a big deal. I wanted to show you what pages look like. So we'll go ahead and take a look. You can see that it opens up in a very nice grid. You can scroll through and pick the page that you want. So we'll go back here. You can see the experience is very, very, very smooth. Uh, let's go to a site like, say, New York Times is one that's been touted uh, quite a bit. Apple has been demonstrating. I'm going to assume it's NewYorkTimes.com, just a guess. And we'll see how sites like that look on the iPad.
go ahead and go. And I gotta say, so far typing has actually been surprisingly easy. And again, I'll do a full video on typing and how it works. Um, but here you go, you get the New York Times in a very big uh, format, in a way that really you may not be used to seeing. And scrolling and everything worked just as it would expect, and there's sort of embedded video um, in there as well. David Pogue on the iPad. So let me go back to Techno Buffalo and show you what the difference would be uh, as compared to the iPhone. And again, I'll do a full video comparing these two, but as far as screen real estate, um, this is really the difference of what you see. And you can tell that it's very small and cramped right here. And certainly you can zoom in um, as you can on the iPad. But it's much, much larger and a little bit lighter on the eyes on the iPad. It's just a little bit easier to read because it's so big. Uh, you really do feel like you're getting uh, the full web experience. Uh, even though one of the knocks on it is a little bit limited with the lack of flash, uh, Apple certainly pushing their alternative, uh, which is HTML5. But you can just see the difference on screen real estate and what browsing would look like. Um, I was a bit skeptical. I said, why do I need a device where I can just browse when I can do it on my iPhone? Or you might be saying the same thing on your iPod Touch. Uh, but right here, you can really just see the difference, and it's in sheer size. So guys, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo with an overview for you of browsing and how mobile browsing works on the Apple iPad. Stay tuned to the channel in Techno Buffalo for a ton of Apple news coming up. I will see you in the next iPad-related video. Bye-bye.